it goes without saying, this cast is really, really, really special. And the new players brought so much to this film. Bye-bye. Denis, we still go in action? Wait. Okay. The casting of Dune was unbelievable. So it was a high mark to kind of hit, but allowed us to create new casting opportunities that are really quite wonderful. Would you like some fresh meats, my darlings? Anytime I go on a new set, I feel like it's the first day of school. And yeah, I'm always nervous, but I felt like I was just welcomed into the family. Are you prepared? You've been preparing me my whole life, Reverend Mother. It was quite possibly the most thrilling welcome to a world I think I've ever experienced and probably ever will experience. I, I very much believe it starts from the top down, so that is Denis and the tone that he establishes on set and his commitment, it just, inspires everybody and cut beautiful the themes makes the material beloved people have loved this book forever which is why zendaya and austin butler and rebecca ferguson and javier bardem and charlotte rampley and christopher walken are brought in they get the best to actualize the material and denise passion for the material so think i'm their messiah others false prophet paul atreides is primarily a young man not wanting to accept his fate that's unfolding before him. Do you not think I also feel the weight of the prophecy? It's not a prophecy. It's a story that you keep telling, but it's not their story, it's yours. And what will require so much of him, his immediate desire to love and be loved with Chani will be superseded by this responsibility. I think he wants to be in love like a lot of young people simply want to be. And he's found that with Chani. The story of being the Muad'Dib, the responsibility of it, is to go down a path that he's reluctant to. Timothy does a beautiful job of, I think, humanizing all of that intensity and complexity, and you really feel him wrestling with it in a way that I think is very relatable. It was really moving for me to work with Timothy again. He did a very powerful transformation in front of the camera. I think it was only having worked on the second film that I realized that the first film, at least Paul's arc within it, was incomplete. This was the becoming of that, and wonderful to play as an actor was this internal dilemma, this desire that a lot of, I think, younger audiences will connect with to subvert outdated modes of patriarchy and power and abuse of power. Here, we're equal. Men and women alike. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. Well, I'd very much like to be equal to you. Maybe you could be from it. Maybe I'll show you the way. I was very excited to spend more time working with Zendaya. I had only spent a few days with her on part one. I was excited at the idea to dig into Shani's character, to bring more of her character to life. I remember talking to Denny. It was important to me that, you know, Chani have more agency, but it was also important to him. And so when I read the first draft, I was so happy and so excited because it gave her so much more to fight for and to dig into and also to be complicated. I love characters that are stuck between what their heart says, what their mind says. Say yes to how Gina to say that. Cut beautiful. It's a lot more fun to play a character <laughs> that is in emotional turmoil, you know what I mean? That's like really struggling to figure out the right thing to do. Luce. Also same like Sadozia. With Zendaya, there is no difference before the take and in the take. We talk the same way, we have so much fun together, we laugh all the time. It's so natural. You know, I'm the only one who believes you're gonna make it until summer. I just felt it was important that she have her own mind and her own thoughts and her own feelings about what's happening to her and around her and to her people. She's part of that generation that's really fighting back against these kind of archaic ideas. She's like, I'm against this. This doesn't work for me. The entire journey for her is to grapple with an openness and to learn and grow from Paul. And that's like really hard for her to digest because she has these feelings of wanting to trust him and, and falling in love with someone, but also hating what they represent at the same time. Thank you, madam. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> 
No, the beautiful girl. That's one of your very good. Yeah. yeah, I love this. You're good. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. She's Shackley, my only friend. <laughs> she Shackley is a character that was in the original novel by Frank Herbert, named once. And Denis made this character a much bigger part in the film. Originally written as a Fremen. No, no, no. I'll do it. And as he kept writing, he realized that Chani needed a confidant and a friend. Suhela Yakub brought this humanity to this character, and it really does create this beautiful friendship. She's a tough, she's a funny one, she's very loyal, she speaks loudly. <laughs> she's like a, this very badass girl. <laughs> Suela is a beautiful discovery from Francine Messler, and she's a fantastic actress from Switzerland that brought that Fremen spirit on screen like nobody else. What'll happen to my mother? I had physical training and the Chakapsa lessons, the language that the Fremen are speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and she shockly also was created with her look when I wore the steel suit. So I think all of this made her and my first take, just what after cut the need, he said, Et hey, voila, she shockly is born. And that was very, very emotional for me. I was very moved by that. She had the big. Who's on 